right, I am going to take attendance, so I'm going to share my screen. We're going to do that real quick. And um, we are going to talk about a, our trade job. So if you guys want to get ready on that and be able to talk about your trade, we are going to do that. Man, I wish there was a button I could just mark everybody absent. All righty. So, oops, there's Ken's, Ken's is there too. I'll have to go back and mark her. All right, who wants to talk about their trade job? And honestly, right now, trade jobs are up and coming. They're some of the biggest jobs that are out there. So, go ahead. You want to talk about yours, Lux? Yeah, that's all right. I mean, I can if no one else does. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I did LPN, which is a licensed practical nurse. Um, daily activities are basic patient monitoring, like monitoring basic patient health, like vital signs and overall conditions, changing mm -hmm. dress dressings and inserting catheters, assisting with tests and procedures, providing personal care like bath bathing and using the bathroom. And then taking basic patient history and maintaining the documents. Yeah. You could actually, could you actually go in people's homes now and do like a home care and actually do this stuff too, right? I think so. Yeah. Um, a lot of people actually do that and then work themselves up to be a nurse. You know, they go to school while they're doing this and that way they're going to make a lot more money. So cool. Yeah. So how much did you say they make? Um, they make the most. I can find it. Right. Um, forty seven thousand five hundred or in fifty a year. They make twenty three eighteen an hour. That's not bad, and I know a lot of them work in the hospitals. Uh, my wife, you know, when she was on the floor, had a lot of them work with her. So that that's good. Um, so that's good. All right. Anything else that you have on that? I have a lot more, but... All right, keep telling us, man. Talk. Um, Class will go smoother if you guys talk. And Courtney and Ken's, you got to be ready to talk about a trade, so... You need to be able to do basic care of patients, manage time efficiently, listen to the patients, keep and maintain documents, and be able to monitor patients. You need a high school. Yeah, program. you're monitoring the vitals, right? That's what you would be doing. Okay. You need a high school diploma or a GED. You need to then graduate from an accredited LPN program, which includes one year of coursework and practical application at a hospital, vocational school, or community college. Um, it's in demand for nursing homes, assistant living care facilities, home care, and other places like that. Okay, cool. Benefits are flexibility in your schedule, meaningful work. You can enter the workforce quicker. Entry-level jobs are abundant, and you can further your education while working. Okay, hold on one second. Dustin, you're going to have to talk about your trade here in a second, so get ready on that. All right, go ahead, Ken's. Ken's. Or, I'm sorry, Lex. Negatives, you're always moving, emotional stress, and not all patients will be cooperative, especially the elderly. That is true. And sometimes, you know, the elderly, you know, are in a state of condition where they don't know what's going on. So anything could happen. So now, I do a lot of LPNs, I think they work in nursing homes too, right? I mean, I, okay. 
All right. Keep going, man. You're enlightening us. That's all you have? Okay. That's awesome. Um, anybody have questions on being an LPN? Uh, LPN is a great job, and I think it's a good stepping stone if you want to be a nurse. Um, you could actually work while you're going to school as an LPN and, and get your nursing degree. So a lot of those uh, classes coincide. That's really good. So good. All right. Who wants to go next and tell me about their trade? Oh, you can't be on them. Oh, yawning. Jack, you were the last one in here, so I'm going to have you talk about your trade. Uh, the one we did for the project? Yep. Uh, I chose welding. Mm hmm So, basically, like, there's a lot of outlooks for this job. Like, you can basically get any job. Mm hmm There's a lot of ways to do it. I, I mean, I don't really know. <laughs> um, Do you know the three different types of welds? St uh, TIG. Um, TIG, MIG, and STIG. Yeah. And what types of jobs can you do with this, like welding? There's a bunch. You can work on pipes. You can work construction, like repairing buildings and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Plumbing. Like the big... Line. Yeah. Big conglomerate buildings, you can do a lot of the steel work on them and stuff. So that that's actually, yeah. Um, you could do fabrication, right? If you're doing like uh, fabrication on motorcycles and stuff and designing your own. So that would be cool. Believe it or not, welding is like a job that is huge in demand because a lot of people can't pass a, a drug test. So... <laughs> All right, tell us a little bit more. How much you make, what goes on with it. Um, you can make – there's a giant range because you can make from anywhere to $40,000 to six figures. In the really? Overtime and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Well, a couple of my students graduated two years ago, and they're making really good money in a factory welding. They're like the – go to people when stuff has to be fixed and they have to weld stuff back together. So they're, it's just, they're doing really well. I'm proud of them. So, um, what else can you tell us about welding? Um, it's really dangerous, especially, especially like underwater welding. Stuff yeah. Like that. Yeah. Life expectancy, I think is only like 53 years old when you do underwater or underwater welding plus you're dealing with flammable and you could blow up because you're you have oxygen and fire that so. and like the electric the electricity that you're using one wire is out of place and you could be electrocuted true very true yep that's another very good point so does anybody have any questions on welding no all right, who wants to go next? Courtney, are you ready? Yeah. All right, tell us, what did you have? I did the plumbing. And oh, okay. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys, plumbing, if you would actually go into that, you're talking 30 to 40 bucks an hour, and there's not many people doing it now. That is like a trade that is like falling off. Um, I remember when I, I just built an addition on my house, I mean, the guy that did it was, like, so old. He could barely walk. So you can make tons of money. So go ahead, Court. Tell us about plumbing. Okay, a typical plumbing day, like, they install pipes. They, like, the values of the pipes and stuff like that. The skills you'll need is, like, cleans. What, like, you're, you're able to do, like, clean lines and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Hands and arm strength, you'll need like manual like you're gonna have to know how to use manual manual stuff mm -hmm. um like the type of training you'll need is like a high school diploma that's about it okay and i'm sure you're gonna have to be trained on how to use all that we had oh, about yeah 
three or four students a couple years ago that graduated and uh that they just took it as a summer job and they're still doing it and they're making lots of money so i'm i'm actually proud of them too so that is another good job that you can do um all kinds of avenues that you can work with that as far as the plumbing uh the pipes of a whole house um you know kitchen sinks bathroom sinks toilets and just all kinds of stuff with that so good uh did you talk about money how much money uh, do you make? the yearly that they make is fifty eight thousand one hundred and fifty dollars that's just a year yeah wow that's and good. like this job is very very like high on demand like Mm -hmm. You have to, like, be able to, like, listen. And if someone tells you to do it, you got to, like, do it, obviously. Yep. I believe that. Yep. Awesome. Good job. Anybody have any questions on plumbing? No? Okay. Dustin, you'd be up, my man. Um, well, I did chef or, like, cooking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the daily activities – like you do is like check the freshness of food and the ingredients or like mm -hmm. recipes, like determine how to present it and stuff. Yeah. Probably coming up with your own recipes too, right? Your own specialties and mm -hmm. um, what type of chef do you want to be? Do you want to be like a gourmet chef? Do you want to be like a pastry chef? Um, what area are you looking? Part gourmet. A gourmet in a big time restaurant. Yeah. Um, like Italian food, steaks, probably uh, like, seafood. Probably like steaks and stuff. Maybe a little mm -hmm. bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Okay. Um, talk about wages. Um, well, there's like different levels. So you have like top level, which is like $36 per hour. Mm -hmm. which is, you probably make around 76000 a year. Then you'd have like senior, mid level, and junior. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you have first starting level, which is $10 an hour. And it probably depends on what kind of place you get into, right? I mean, your smaller restaurant, you're probably not going to make as much as you would a well established restaurant and, you know, one of those um, ritzy kind of places that you would go to. So. Okay, very good. That's actually one. I think you're the only one that did chef out of all of the classes that I have. So that's good. Really good. Ken, do you have anything for us? Yeah, I do. Okay, man. Talk to us. Uh, I did a respiratory therapist. And they can work pretty much anywhere, like hospitals or some work in like nursing homes. And mm -hmm. they work therapeutically with like people that suffer from like critical conditions that involve like their breathing mm -hmm. so you would make about 57,000 a year if you have like the basic level of like the entry degree which is associate's degree so you'd only go two yeah that's good money for only a two-year degree yeah but like you can work like higher up if you want to work in like a big hospital mm -hmm. like, People who have like been really like like more advanced like patients that have like bigger issues like some people suffer from like strokes and heart attacks and mm -hmm. the respiratory therapist would like work with them on like maybe like regulating breathing or like checking their heart rates and like making sure that they're okay yeah and especially right now I mean I I have a lung disease so I know the whole thing behind all that and the tests that you have to take and all kinds of stuff that you have to do. Um, think about right now, is that job really in demand? Yeah, it is. Like, because of the COVID, yeah, it's, like, mm. in, like, it's really, like, in demand because um, people, like, one of the conditions is, like, it's, like, a breathing thing. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, definitely in demand. Yeah. No, all five of you guys picked very, very good jobs as far as trade jobs. Um, just know that there are a ton more out there. And right now, I think it's going to even get bigger. I think there's going to be a lot more stuff 
that's going to be made in the United States. I was just reading an article on that, um, that, you know, we can't rely on these other countries to make stuff. So I, I think manufacturing is going to come back big and you're going to have a lot more trade jobs. And I'm not just talking working in a factory. Um, you can be doing all kinds of stuff in a factory. You could be um, a machinist. You could be the uh, electrical engineer. You could be mechanical engineer. You could be a, a chemical engineer. Uh, even going farther up and uh, technology engineer, you could do all the technology of the whole plant, which, I mean, everything's run on technology. So um, you guys have anything else, anybody? That you want to touch on? No? 